Yo, 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 this is King Ernest coming to you guys live and direct. First and foremost, hit the honorableearners.com to grab your CMOS gold, 92 of the 102 minerals your body is made of. Everyone who ordered their CMOS gold, your CMOS gold will be going out tomorrow. Never forget, I send CMOS gold out Fridays and Mondays. Fridays and Mondays. So you want to always make sure that it's on one of those days or right before that day because I'm going to send it right to you and it won't even seem like you know you've been waiting because you remember the days. I have a new product. Everybody know how good the CMOS Gold work, right? A lot of people think that people just buy CMOS Gold because I'm popular. Well, honestly, I'm really not popular. I don't have a lot of followers. Um, I have a lot of supporters people that genuinely deal with me, you know, that love support my campaign. Um, they know about the whole end of the campaign. You know, they've been around for a while. Um, they're able to remember the videos that I always post in the schools and the children. While I still do, do them things, but I just don't post them anymore because I felt like at that time I was posting them for a reason. Well, we know that this changed a lot of people. It put a smile on my face instead of me having my face balled up all the time, and it put a lot of good energy into the youth, man. And so we're thankful to Allah for it, right? Now, look how blessing, listen how Allah shows more blessings. And, you know, I, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not letting my neck up, my connect on this up. I'm not letting nobody know who he is. Um, we're going to get money. He's not going to have to do nothing. He's not going to have to lift up a finger of his. And I'm going to give you all something that a lot of people probably don't even know about frankincense, the incense. Listen to me, guys. I got CMOS everywhere, but it's, but it's moving, and I love it. <clears throat> frankincense. What I have is a unique, very unique species of frankincense. Because you're thinking frankincense is just the oil. And, oh, my gosh, keep that away. But you know what happens with things in these times? People put things in oils, people mixing. You can't really trust individuals, especially the ones that selling it for, you know, I'm not saying all of them now. I'm saying some of them that's not even, <clears throat> like, don't even know what the oils is they have. They never even said, you know, like, frankincense is not just an oil. It's a natural product, you know what I'm saying, that grows out of a, like, the. it's like a, a the vein of a tree, a piece of a tree. I, I don't want to get into the name of the tree right now with y'all guys because tomorrow I'll have 50,000 people thinking they know what they're talking about and they'll be selling the product incorrectly. I'm not even selling the product until about early, mid next week. The reason why is because I want to make sure I experience this. And thus far, I've had an honorable experience with it. The brother, he contacted me. He said, Alhamdulillah. And I got to say this, brother, honor is intact, man. King Frankincense, you hear me? The reason why I say that is because he didn't have to give me this. He said, man, what you got, it goes identically to it. And I've been telling people and I've been offering do I for this product. This product, not only does it help with germs in your mouth, different cavity diseases and stuff like that that lay in your mouth. People have problems with just their gums with gingivitis. Whether they, they might at one time didn't take care of their teeth or their teeth could just be, you know, messed up. I don't know. Whatever the situation, we're not here to judge anyone. But I'm, I'm going to tell you this, that you look at it and you say one thing, like how I just showed you the big piece of it, right? I'm going to be selling these for $30. I'm not going to charge you guys up. I'm going to make sure that everybody in our community got them. And listen to me. Let me give you, you guys understanding of this right here. You don't just take it and use it for one thing only. That's where you mess up at. But like I said, I'm going to experience it first. And I'm going to let you guys really, really know Monday how I feel. Because every time, I'm not going to lie to you guys. Every time, I'm not going to lie. I can't sit here and tell you no stories. You know, marijuana, you know, has at one time or another become a part of my life, you know. And I... You know, I, you know how coming up, you smoke back, back at the smack, smack, and you keep smoking, smoking, smoking. Well, this product also helps in that area also because after you smoke weed, you don't have no brush around, you know, in the water sometimes. You might be at work or wherever you at, 
you know, it's becoming legal, so everybody has it for their health. And you may say to yourself, you know, I don't want to go back in here. My breath smell like weed or I smell like weed. I don't want to go and talk to this girl. I know I just, uh, my tooth, I just had a cavity or something like that. You can just smell your own breath. You know it ain't smelling right. You know, and this ain't just for that time being. You just pop it in your mouth and chew on it. Because a lot of y'all, it's going to blow your mind. Because y'all never known that there is a species of this. There's a special species that you can do this with the other species. You can't. You have to be careful with it. You don't want to even put it nowhere into your system, you see? But this right here, look. See how it looks? Right? You see it? Now look what I do with it. Now, I, this is what I was told. Listen, that if we got a sore in your mouth, if you got cavities or this guy too poor, you're in pain, you take and put this on the other side of your mouth, but get the chewing. Once it get wet, you're gonna see, you're gonna, it's gonna blow your mind because you looked at what I just put in my mouth, didn't you? If you're watching this, you looked at it, and guess what? Even when I'm, I'm, I'm chewing on it and I'm tasting it, all up in here, clearing out. I mean, all up in here is clearing all the way out. Now listen, excuse me, because it tastes so good and I'm chewing it so fast, because I'm trying to get to the point. I don't want the video to be me chewing it, trying to show y'all. Now, I'm going to be offering you guys this natural, honorable species of frankincense in like a shea butter form. I'm going to also be selling it to you for your beard. I'm going to also be selling it to you for your hair, especially individuals that are growing lots. I mean, I'm going to listen to me. I've been thinking of this and, and looking it up and going deeper for about the last 24 hours. And guess what? See most gold in it? They run a neck and neck. They both have something to do with themselves. They both have something to do with you fixing your life. They both give you that feeling when you take them. I'm in the right zone of energy. The energy that Allah put in this frankincense. Listen, let me, let me explain something to you. I never had a breath problem in my life, ever. But every human being know when you're around and you know your mouth a little tardy, you're like, Had to take a train to take care of some business and get my CMOS more understood and intact. Coming back on that train, but I happened to be sitting next to an honorable young lady. The first thing I've done, because you can keep them running with you, is pop in my mouth. So I'm a shy individual anyway, and when she got begin to talk, and oh, yeah, but you know, I tell her, when you got a career now, you can tell, you can smile, and instead of you saying, I'm just coming home from the penitentiary and all that other nonsense, you can tell her what you got going on. And she said, I'm not being smart or in your business or, you know, being newsy, but what are you chewing on? It's giving off the most beautiful odor I ever smelled. I said, that's called frankincense. And I explained it to her. And then I allowed her to know the truth. I said, I don't even know a lot about this product. I said, how about we do it together? Look, let's look it up together. Mind you, this was a white lady. She said, hey, went into her joint, put on her, her briefcase and had her little laptop in there. 
we get to talking, she said, I know who you are. I said, oh, you do? I just told you my name when we introduced, when we figured we we're going to be on a train with each other for a few hours. She said, no, 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 no. Look here. Came out. Went right to her Google search engine and the tab that was still open. Her one below. I'm like this. On one of my videos. Never mind the video. She went straight to giving me an understanding that she feels my energy. She said someone told her about the Seymour School and that she's been watching. She said, now that it's been about six months I've been following you, she said, I've become attached to your page alone. And I said, why did you say that? She said, it's not that you're really speaking about the individuals, that what they shouldn't be doing in reference to the youth. She says, it's the fact that I can scroll further down and see you actually doing these things and see how you evolved from being a person who post here and there, majority of everything that he done, to grasping that it's not about an outwardly look. It's about inwardly what people feel. I can get a million likes. If I continued in that matter that I was last year of just recording this through is me talking and things of that nature, of course, of course, it goes to the moon. But don't you understand that you have to touch all areas and you cannot have any fear in other areas when it's not going the correct way? I, when I went to YouTube, I, I just became more responsible. I'm not going to lie. It was a time in my life when Seamoss Gold had came back into my life and I began to take it daily more every day and implement my little push-ups, pull-ups and things of this nature. To the fact that I really didn't have the mindset to keep going. I didn't have the mindset because I didn't think that I would ever, ever be able to touch anybody. So that was never my intent. And when you have individuals who don't have evil intent and they go after good intent, good things happen to them. I have so many obstacles that are in front of me. They ask me about CMOS Gold and why am I always speaking on it? Well, today, guess what? I haven't bought myself really no new clothes and sneaks and things of that nature in almost 60 days. I weaned myself off from that and put myself on this natural product. And now, what helps your memory also is this in an honorable way? I'm starting to really see things clear. I'm starting to get an understanding that I was tricked, but not only was I tricked, I was tricked several times into believing that the streets was all there was. As a young man, I always made sure I hit every part of the city. I never was a guy restricted to my neighborhood because I've done a lot of time with guys in jail that I was all right in different parts of the city. When I woke up this morning now, something in my brain told me to get those youngins or get those people at one time that you sat in a negative circle and talk shoot them up bang bang all day with. Get in contact with them. Have a different conversation. Have a conversation of honor. And I said, honestly, that's why I only conversate with my brothers that I conversate with because the ones that I was coming up with from a pup, they ain't got that type of conversation. Black always tell me, here's whatever you do you have always been a leader in doing it. But I got to say, 
With all them leadership skills I had, I didn't do the right thing. But today I feel so good to be able to do the right thing for allowing myself to be able to come this far as I can. If I fell out today and it was all over, I accomplished what they said I didn't accomplish. And young, and that's what you got to understand. You get tired of when you come in the house, they're asking you, your people telling you, man, don't be selling no drugs. Or, you know, if you became, you was a drug addict one time, are you high? You're getting tired of people doing that. You're getting tired of people assuming that you're going to get into all this trouble and face negativity and honor it. Well, you put yourself in that position. That's where you wanted to be at. Now you're working up to being who? A man that has nothing to do with anything. That has nothing to do with no type of dishonor. A man who has a direction. A direction in going in the right path, in the right way. I can't tell you guys how anxious I be to tell everybody, yo, I ain't with going to jail no more. Yo, I ain't with slapping this person. Yo, I ain't with going far on just anybody and disrespecting them, making jokes for no apparent reason. Yo, I ain't with you messing your life up. You call me, you telling me how you about to go this, do this, you can't take it no more, it's running you. I got another avenue. I got another way. I took this Seymour School, right? And I sold this Seymour School. Like I used to sell crack in 88, 87. Say like 88. And no lie, no BS. I was one of the best hustlers in the world. I would come out three in the morning and not go back in until three or four nights, three in the morning. I would randomly run in people's house like, yo, can I use your bathroom? I would have a rag. At the time, I was very young, 11, 12 years old. Nobody wants to believe it, but when I showed my arrest record, they saw it. Wow, this kid was really 11, 12 years old. And I would rinse off my private parts and throw my clothes back on and back at it. Now, mind you, I didn't have to do that. My grandparents gave me the world because my grandmother, I mean my mother, she left me there with them. When she was on drugs, killed her boyfriend in front of me as a child. I seen that. And still, as a child, for a long time, I wasn't going towards negativity. But I said at the same, the avenue of the things that you seen that was terrible, that put you in a place of you being harmed or going through pain or the rest of your life, seeing things conscious killing you, once you get your hands around it, you'll be successful. Nothing else can stop you. What else gonna stop you? Tell me what can stop an individual in that position. Nothing. You know why nothing can't stop that individual? Because at the end of the day, he's been at his worst. Him or her been at his worst. His or her. Don't matter, lady, too. Been at their worst. And guess what? They found avenues to come out. See, for the individual that do, you know, that sell drugs, mind caught up, it's not about that you sell it. It's about do you have a goal. He all said it yesterday in one of his lives. He said, what is the person who's selling drugs doing to come out of selling drugs? Because you can get stuck still there. 
and be bamboozled to the fact that that's where he's supposed to be. We're teaching every child, every youngin' worldwide. You can't do it like that. You have to start somewhere. Rather it's a job, rather it's your business. You're gonna need money. You don't wanna continue to hustle if you're stuck in the street still. You know what you wanna do? You wanna turn that legal money over. I mean that illegal money over. You wanna make today's flip. Your last flip, and you don't want to look at drugs again. You got to have faith in you doing it. This is the moral of this story and me speaking on this product and explaining, to you, explaining my energy. At one time, I couldn't keep going. Everything I'd done, I wasn't consistent. I'd do it a little bit, come over here, do it. 